Laparoscopic tubal ligation. How is it done? Tubal ligation is a permanent method of contraception for women who are certain they do not want any more children. Once performed, it's very difficult to reverse, so be careful. Laparoscopic tubal ligation is typically done when a woman is not pregnant, known as interval sterilization. It involves small abdominal incisions and uses various techniques to block or seal the fallopian tubes. Let's explore these techniques. Number 1. Laparoscopic clip application. Two types of clips are used, Halka Clemens and Filchis clip. The clips are placed on the isthmus of the tubes, causing occlusion and eventual necrosis. The advantages are minimal tissue damage, a quick procedure, and high success for future tubal reversal. The disadvantage is that the clips can be expensive. Number two, fallops or yoon rings insertion. A two to three centimeter segment of the tube is drawn into an applicator and a silicon ring is released to block it. This can be done with one or two incisions. The advantages are minimal tissue damage and suitability for tubal reversal. The disadvantage is that there is a risk of mesoselfing injury or bleeding and the rings are also costly. Number three, bipolar and unipolar electrocoagulation. The tubes are coagulated using electrical energy with or without transaction. Bipolar is safer while unipolar may cause more tissue damage due to lateral electricity spread. Both can be performed with two or three incisions. The techniques are cost-effective and easy to perform, but they damage more tissue, making tubal reversal more challenging. Number four, single incision laparoscopic tubal ligation. Here, a single umbilical incision is used to place multiple ports for the procedure. The advantage is that it offers a better cosmetic result. The disadvantage is that it can be slightly more technically challenging to perform. Each technique has its own advantages and considerations. The best choice depends on your medical history, preferences, and surgeon's expertise. If you are considering tubal ligation, consult your healthcare provider to determine the most suitable option for you. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Take care of your reproductive health.